Hi, this is David Montalongo and I'm shooting this video for you. Uh, it's a very important message about mentorship and training. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about somebody that I'm working with very closely right now and training them, working with them very closely on getting their real estate business uh, up and off the ground and running successfully. And then I'm also gonna tell you about another young man who has offered to personally mentor me and uh, why the two stories go together. So uh, basically I've got a gentleman by the name of Blake that I've been working with and Blake came to me in kind of an unusual fashion. Uh, I actually, my company every month sends out about between 2,500 and 5,000 mail pieces, direct mail pieces to people who are motivated to sell their houses. Uh, Blake was on a list of motivated sellers and contacted my office and asked us to purchase a pro his property from him. And when we went out to the, to the house to take a look at it, did a market analysis, really started to look into the neighborhood and everything, we started to find out that, you know, Blake didn't have a lot of equity in his property. Um, you know, Blake had, uh, didn't have a, a great interest rate, but had an existing Bank of America loan in place. Um, but it was going to be pretty tough for him to go out and sell the property and put any money in his pocket. In fact, he was pretty concerned because he felt like once, you know, if he listed it in a traditional manner with a real estate agent, by the time the property was listed and sold, he would actually have to come about, you know, with about $5,000 out of his pocket just to get his own property sold. Um, and so what I did with Blake is I said, look, you know, I said, I've got some options for you. Um, you know, maybe a traditional sale is not what you're looking for. Let's go this other route and let's um, work on an owner finance deal. You'll have to stay with the deal a little bit longer, um, but it'll actually allow you to make about triple or, you know, quadruple the amount of money that you would make if you just sold it outright. In fact, you know, if you end up having to come out of money with pocket, then your return by doing owner financing is going to be unlimited because you know you'll make a bunch of money with it. So I, I begin to teach him and, and take him down that path. And uh, so it's pretty nice because Blake was actually able to put together a really solid deal, found a buyer within two weeks of marketing his property, was able to take $15,000 down in cash, was able to set up about $300 in positive cash flow on his property every single month by servicing the debt. And then he's also going to make about $100,000 on the back end uh, of that deal simply because he stayed in the deal and offered owner financing. Uh, and this is a deal that he would have had a lot of trouble selling if it wasn't for him carrying the financing. So Blake's really been learning the ins and outs of the real estate business. Since then, he's been able to get involved in other types of deals, wholesale deals. Uh, we're actually gonna partner him up with another investor and do some rehabs. So Blake is getting a great, great education um, you know, by having a mentor, by having somebody work along with him very personally, showing him what to do. Now, in your own life, when you have success, when you've done something right, when you've done something well, that typically comes because you have a certain amount of confidence in your core processes, meaning there's things that you do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis that give you a lot of confidence in your business and different things that you do. When you reach that point and you have confidence, it's very important that you, uh, in whatever business that you're in, and, and most likely it's real estate since we're here talking about real estate today, you know that you begin to mentor and show somebody the ropes as well. And so, you know, my kids, funny because I, you know, in my life, I lead my kids by example. And so my kids hear me talk about mentorship and coaching on a regular basis. Uh, in fact, I've got a, uh, you know, a business guru that works very closely with me in my own business. And so they hear me talk about mentorship all the time. And the really interesting thing is, is that people are confident in the things that they're good at. So my 11 year old son came to me the other day and he says, dad, he says, I want to mentor you. I want to take you under my wing and I want to show you a few things. And, um, and I said, okay. Um, I said, son, that sounds good. What do, you, what do you want to mentor me in? And he says, well, I'm going to take you under my wing and I'm going to show you how to be the very best dad Call of Duty Black Ops 2 player that's out there. And, um, and so because he's very good at video games and because he's got a lot of confidence, in fact, you know, when he plays online, he's playing with, you know, he's 11 years old, but he's playing with a lot of 16 and 18 year old kids and he is very, very good. In fact, he shoots videos and he's turned his video gaming into a small business. Um, and so for him, he's got a lot of confidence in his core processes. So I thought to me, it was pretty funny. Um, you know, so we were actually talking, I said, well, you know, if you were my mentor son, what would you teach me about Call of Duty Black Ops? He's like, well, first rule, the first rule of Black Ops is when you cross the street, 
you got to look both ways. And I said, well, son, my mom's been telling me that since I was a kid. That's really nothing new. And he says, yeah, dad, but if you do that in life, you get hit by a car. If you do that when you're playing black ops, you get sniped. So, you know, he, he's got all these little rules and things that he wants to teach me because he's got confidence in what he does. And so, um, to me, that's just a funny story, but, but to me, to, that's very, very important. One, that you learn from somebody who knows exactly what it is that they're doing, that they have a lot of confidence in their core processes, especially if you're entering the real estate game. There are core processes that can really streamline your business. They're business systems that can help you take your business to the next level in very, very rapid fashion. But many times that does take a coach, it takes a mentor, it takes somebody who's done that very successfully already. So again, I wanted to shoot that video for you guys very quickly. Uh, thanks so much for your time today and I look forward to seeing you on the very next video.